Whew. Man, y'all, I just watched what I think very well may be the best movie of 2024. And notice I did not clarify that by saying Christian movie. Man, guys, I know I don't normally uh, upload videos here on a Friday, but today is a special day because tonight, August 23rd, uh, The Forge, this brand new movie, is going to be released in the theaters. And I want to encourage you, I want to strongly encourage you to do whatever you have to do to rearrange your schedule this weekend. Take your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your, your husband, your wife, maybe even your children, to go see this amazing new movie. Man, I was so blessed. I cried. I uh, I laughed. Uh, it was an amazing movie. And this movie is very, very near and dear to my heart. It, it's a movie about a young man who does not have any direction in his life. And I won't give it all away to you, obviously, but um, you can get this in the trailer. But uh, it's a movie about a young man who's just like really, really lost. You are my son, but I'm giving you one month to find a job, or you can find one of your little friends that's gonna let you sleep on their couch for free. Can I help you? I'm just trying to talk to a young lady right here. I need for you to leave my shop right now. I'm gone, and I won't be back either. That's something right there your father would do. Well, I ain't him. You acting like him, boy. That is until an older man came into his life and discipled him, and he was able to experience radical transformation in his life. I'm just trying to see about a job, right? I ain't hit about nothing. You what you a salesman for this company? I'm the president. That's for more. And I think the reason why I was so moved by this movie is because if I'm being honest, I see myself in this movie. I saw myself in this young man. I was that young man in college when I had very little direction for my life other than going to school. I didn't go to church at all. I was chasing women. I was uh, pledging a fraternity. I got really involved with that. I was um, going to parties and doing all kinds of different things. Um, hanging out with the wrong crowd. And it wasn't until an older man came into my life and was intentional about discipling me along with several of my other friends that I saw my life take a completely different trajectory. And that's what this story is all about in this particular movie. So what I want to do is I want to read a passage of scripture to you. It's a very familiar passage of scripture about making disciples. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to challenge you to do one very important thing. The passage of scripture is Matthew 28, uh, verses uh, 18 through 20. And I just want to do just a little brief little devotional here. And I want to give you three words to consider uh, as we talk about the importance of making disciples. Three words, and then I'm out of your way. The first word is intentionality, intentionality. And notice it says here, all authority in heaven and earth and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go. Let's just stop right there. Go. One of the things that is so beautifully brought out in this movie is the intentionality of the way this older man discipled this younger man, man and along with many other uh, young men in this particular movie. He didn't wait around for the young man to ask him to disciple him. Just like Jesus. Jesus didn't wait around for these apostles and these uh, disciples to ask him, hey, can I be a disciple? No, Jesus specifically was intentional. He went where they were. He, he uh, specifically identified, I want to disciple you, Peter, uh, Andrew, uh, Bartholomew, James. He was very, very intentional, and he's encouraging us and, do, and commanding us to do the same thing. And this was beautifully brought out in the movie. And oftentimes, you and I were sitting back and we're asking and wondering, waiting for somebody to come to us, text us, or uh, show up at our door and say, hey, can you disciple me? I believe if we're going to make disciples like Christ, we have to be intentional about the disciple making process. One of the ways we can do this is simply by forming relationships with people, not necessarily forming relationships with the expectation that one day I'm going to disciple you, but just form relationships with people. And then as that relationship begins to grow, 
ask God to show you if there's a deeper level of discipleship that he wants you to take that relationship. And by the way, when you do, it is gonna require something from you. It's gonna cost you something, and that is none other than time. And what I see in this movie so beautiful is that this man was willing to invest quite a bit of time with this younger man, but the payoff was unbelievable. Wait till you see the movie, you're gonna see just how radically this young man's life was changed. And my life was changed as a result of discipleship. Many of you watching this video, your life may have been changed because somebody took the time to invest in you. So that's my first word is intentionality. The second word is simplicity. Simplicity. Now notice it says, go and make disciples of all nations. Now right there, many of us, we might get intimidated, right? We're like, man, Lord, I can't disciple everybody. I can't go into all the world. I can't go anywhere. I can't even travel, right? Look, I want to encourage you to start with one. Start with one person. Don't get overwhelmed and intimidated that you have to save the world or you have to disciple the world. No, choose one person that you are going to disciple over the next year and start there. But I also want to encourage you to simplify it in another way. Notice it says here, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them the hypostatic union. No. Teaching them the substitutionary atonement of Christ. No. Teaching them eschatology and all the different views of millennialism and tribulation. No. Teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. Isn't that beautiful? Jesus simplifies. He said, look, whenever you're making disciples, you don't need to be a seminary graduate to do this, right? You don't have to have all this theological knowledge. Can you teach them how to pray? Can you teach them how to study the Bible? Can you teach them fasting? Can you teach them how to love their wife or love their husband or how to be a better father or how to balance work with ministry or work with family? Can you teach them how to... Um, I don't know, tie a tie? Can you teach them how to handle their finances? As a matter of fact, there's a beautiful scene in this movie where this, this older man teaches this younger man who did not have a father, and he teaches him how to present himself and introduce himself to other people. He taught him how to do a firm handshake, how to make eye contact with people. Look, sometimes discipleship is simple as that. It's just teaching people what you know. It's also about being vulnerable. There's a scene in the movie, I'm not going to spoil it for you, where the older man shares something very, very intimate and special and private in his life to help this younger man as he's, as he's on his journey. And my brothers and sisters, that's what God wants to do in your life and through your life and mine. He wants us to be open enough to share our flaws, our failures, our mistakes, our shortcomings, our triumphs, our victories, areas that we've broken strongholds through the blood of Christ. Uh, uh, mistakes that we've made, things that we're not proud of. He wants us under the influence of the Holy Spirit to be bold enough and courageous enough to share those things and be vulnerable with other people so that we can help them. So discipleship looks different depending upon the needs of the person or the people that you are discipling. The whole point here is to keep it simple and don't get over. Whelmed. Now, the third and final word that I want to share with you about making disciples is dependence. Dependence. And this very well may be my favorite part because notice it says here, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And that's a word for some of you watching this because some of you, you have been very intimidated and you have stayed away purposely from making disciples because you feel like you aren't enough. You feel like you don't know enough. You feel like you're not good enough. You don't know how to do it. You're afraid that you'll say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, or you're not equipped or you're not prepared. But I love this because Jesus is like, I got you. I will be with you to the very end of the age. So as you embark on what may be a very intimidating journey of stepping out of your comfort zone and making a disciple, may you always remember that you are dependent upon Christ. Christ is with you. He wants to empower you to be able to do some things that you may not normally think that you're able to do. But he says, I will be with you as you make this disciple. So here's my final challenge to you. My challenge to you 
is first and foremost, go check out the movie because it's amazing. It'll bring you to tears and it will bless you. But my second challenge, more importantly, is to make a disciple. Commit yourself. Make a covenant to yourself that before this year is out, you're going to find one person. You're going to pray and ask God to send you one person that you can pour into, that you can disciple, that you can say, man, one day when I get to heaven, this person's going to say, man, because Brother Allen spent the time to disciple me, I am the man or I am the woman that God intended for me to be. How great would it be if someone could look back 20, 30 years from now and mention your name as the reason why they got saved or the reason why they grew spiritually? So I want to challenge you, every single one of you watching this, to check out the movie and commit yourself to making one disciple. All right, movie is out. The Forge. Go check it out this weekend. You will be blessed. It opens up tonight, August 23rd. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.